Sinspective's mission is to create a new infrastructure that enables the next generation to understand our Earth scientifically, quantitatively, and achieve a resilient future. We are developing and operating uh, the Synthetic Capacitor Radar satellite and uh, able to build up the satellite constellation to see the whole Earth and develop the analytics as well to understand uh, the yeah, peak data comes from our constellation and rethink about the economic activity, the climate change or disaster mitigation. Then we provide the insight and needed information to the governmental users and the private sector users. So that's our service. The SAR satellite can operate without light. At any time of the day, even at night, or even when there's rain, to detect objects on the ground. We are able to play a role very much in weather adverse scenarios, for example, in flooding in typhoons, or where traditional optical satellites cannot see an object, the SAR satellite usually is able to do so. So the data production team at Sinspective is responsible for delivering data to customers. And this means uh, mission planning, um, sending commands to the satellites and getting back the data, processing the raw data into uh, SARS images, and then finally delivering the data to the customers. The SAR is very useful for uh, monitoring infrastructure because, um, for example, in SAR, where we take two images um, of the same location, we can measure how much the distance of, the, of any object changes with respect to the satellite. And this way we can monitor the formation, so we can get updates of how the environment changes much more frequently, which allows us to quickly monitor even small changes. In the year 2020, the government of Uzbekistan experienced a water dam collapse that caused the loss of lives and property in the country. For the past three years, the government of Uzbekistan, through the Uzbek Space Agency, has been working with Inspective to measure the subsidence and movement of water dams in the country. In that monitoring project, we were able to detect anomalies around the water bodies in that sense to help to protect and to inform the government of any situations that require additional monitoring on the ground and to prevent the loss of lives. So what the solution department is doing is collecting the imagery from the satellites and try to build some analytics around it. So we are working on different solutions such as uh, disaster relief, military object detection, and uh, we are also working on uh, the mining uh, type of projects. Japan is uh, frequently struck by disasters. So we work on using the disaster damage assessment solution to quickly output some disaster area uh, estimation to send to local agencies so they can use it for the local relief. We can provide insight or information immediately after data capturing to our customers. So that's the uh, strength and value of the SAR data and our, our analytics. We're not doing you know, traditional satellite manufacture. We're with, you know, small satellite manufacture, so it's really simple. And uh, you know, we can focus on the real necessary functions. So how frequently we can monitor, how stably we can monitor. That is uh, one of the features of the synthetic aperture radar. So we always thinking about our product can match with uh, uh, real needs. But you know, we really pursued how many you know, components are actually manufactured and uh, you know, uh, operated on orbit. That is something, uh, evidence uh, we can use that in a reliable way. And the other thing is, uh, you know, we need to make it really small because we need to launch many, many satellites in a single you know, launch or maybe multiple launches. Asia-Pacific governments are investing very heavily in the digitalization of their technologies to look at how better to manage the sustainability development goals. Food security, for example, can be monitored through satellite data to look at how much growth there is for a certain crop, what kind of yield they are expecting to receive over a year or so. In such cases, satellite serves as the best tool to use. We 
will achieve over 30 satellites constellation uh, for the next five years. And this is going to be a very really important base uh, to provide the uh, needed data to monitor the environmental change and the uh, disaster and uh, also maybe some of the geopolitical risk. And also we can expand the collaboration with other uh, sensors, other data, uh, maybe it comes from our partner companies to accelerate the resilient uh, world. So I think a very hopeful uh, approach.